Hi, in this video I'm going to go over how to install and configure the latest update to the DAS to Blender bridge. I'm using DAS Central, but you can do uh, the same with DAS Install Manager. Find DAS to Blender and click the Install button. If you uh, already have DAS to Blender installed, then uh, you'll have a update button instead. Once it's installed, click Open DAS Studio. Once DAS Studio opens, go to the File menu and go down to Send To, and you should have an option for DAS to Blender. When you click that, you should now get an updated DAS to Blender bridge window. If there's nothing in the scene, then you'll get this help text up at the top with links to GitHub, the FAQ, and uh, YouTube videos for DAS to Blender. So once the DAS Studio plugin is installed, you'll need to also install the Blender plugin. And to do that with the updated plugin, go to the Advanced Settings section and go uh, to Blender Plugin Installer, select Blender version. And I'll be installing this into Blender 3.2 and then click Install Plugin. If the installation was successful, you should get a message telling you where the Blender plugin was installed. So now that the Blender plugin is installed, we'll need to activate it inside Blender. Once Blender starts up, go to the Edit menu and go to Preferences. Then in the Blender Preferences window, on the left-hand side, select Add-ons. In the magnifying glass area, type in DAS, and you should have the DAS to Blender bridge plugin for Blender show up. With the arrow, click the arrow to open up the dropdown, and you'll see that the latest version now corresponds to the version inside the advanced settings of the uh, DAS Studio plugin 15.38. 15.38. To enable the DAS to Blender plugin inside Blender, click the checkbox here. And now you have it activated. In the Blender viewport now, up in the right hand corner, you should see a little arrow that you can open up for the Blender tool shelf. Inside here, at the bottom tab, should be DAS to Blender. And if you click that, you should get the option to start importing your exports from DAS Studio. Now there's one extra step that I recommend people do, which is to go up to the Window menu and go down to Toggle System Console. This opens up the Blender console, and from here you should see the DAS to Blender version number, as well as the intermediate folder that the Blender plugin is using to read files from DAS Studio. And you'll see that when I selected something here, that the uh, the title bar here has changed to have a select at the beginning of it and it's actually in a selection mode here unfortunately this disables um, any python script from running inside blender and so uh, it'll look like blender has locked up and in actuality what's happening is that you just need to hit escape to turn off selection mode and this isn't a bug inside Blender, but it's actually a feature of uh, Windows 11, which uh, allows you to um, make quick selections inside any console window. Unfortunately, um, it also will uh, lock up any uh, process running in that console until you hit escape. 
So what I recommend you do is go up to the Blender icon here of the console and go down to Properties. And inside the Edit Options section, disable Quick Edit Mode and click OK. Now, when you try to click inside here, um, nothing will happen and your Blender console will not lock up your uh, Blender app anymore. If you do want to select anything in the uh, Blender console, then you can manually enable the selection mode by going to Edit and Mark. And now you can select something and then uh, hit Enter to copy that. And um, it will turn off the selection mode again. And that's it for this video.